You will become an explorer into the mysteries of life. Why are we attracted to one person and not another? What happens when we confront our darkest fears? Can we ever become young again? What are the limits of human endurance? Celebrate the power of the human spirit in its relentless pursuit of knowledge. The more we know, the more powerful we become. Explorations. On Explorations, NASA scientists discover one of the world's biggest blocks of ice is melting. It comprises enough water to raise sea level by about six or seven meters if it all were to melt. How this meltwater might be leading to more and more unpredictable weather. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. It's like being back in Vietnam. And how this could lead ultimately to a terrifying outcome, a new ice age. I can only describe it as catastrophic. It's clearly going to influence every single one of us every day of our lives. The 10 warmest years on record have all occurred since 1987. Spring is arriving earlier each year. Now, NASA scientists believe one of the world's largest blocks of ice, the Greenland ice sheet, is melting. But just how quickly it's melting wasn't known until these scientists, Bill Crabble and Bob Thomas, took to the skies. This particular area, you can think of it as a, as a huge ice cube that nicely buffers global climate. An ice cube that's 1,000 miles long, 400 miles wide, and two miles thick in the center. It's one of the biggest blocks of frozen water in the world. If it all melted, global sea levels would rise by almost 20 feet. Bob and Bill use global positioning satellites and laser technology to measure the height of the ice. They believe the results are so significant, we should all be worried. There's definitely changes taking place here. All over the margin of the Greenland ice sheet, it is thinning. It's equivalent to over 30 cubic miles of snow and ice disappearing off the ice sheet each year. Already, scientists have detected a 12-inch rise in sea levels over the past century. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change projects a three-fold increase on this rise over the next hundred years. The Nile Delta and Bangladesh would be engulfed with flood water. According to the Institute for the Study of Planet Earth, the eastern seaboard of the United States would be swamped. But increased flooding is only half the story. Global warming will also bring more violent storms. There'll be changes in the frequency of things like tropical cyclones and possibly uh, storms in the, uh, outside the tropics in the sort of last years of the UK and Europe. Violent stormy weather is something that we're all going to have to get used to. In fact, it's already begun.